Historically, Louisiana is one of the lowest performing states academically, and New Orleans has been one of the lowest performing school districts in the state of Louisiana. Before Katrina um, and the levees broke, I would argue New Orleans would have been uh, a strong contender for the worst urban school district in the United States. Post Katrina, New Orleans has experienced a renaissance and it's due to charter schools. 61% of the kids in New Orleans attend charter schools. But charters are part of the solution not because of the numbers of kids, but because of the quality. Charter schools are outperforming the traditional schools in New Orleans and by a significant margin. And the reason is our State Board of Education, Bessie, adopted high quality chartering practices with the assistance of NAXA. When the legislation was passed to take the schools away from the New Orleans School Board, it required the State Board of Education to use best practices as outlined by the National Association of Charter School Authorizers. And in fact, Bessie hired NAXA not only to help with policy, but to review the charter applicants. In spring 2006, when we had our first request for proposals after Hurricane Katrina, only six of 44 charter applicants were accepted. I served on the State Board of Education at that time. Having NAXA as a partner was absolutely critical. It gave the board cover to only accept six of 44 because there was an independent third party review process that we could call upon to depoliticize the selection process. We also put in place authorizing practices that I believe is driving the quality of chartering in New Orleans. Uh, charter con our charter contracts are very rigorous in that schools must, must meet certain performance thresholds at the end of year three to continue and by year five to get a charter renewal contract. Schools have internalized these performance measures. They are living them every day. They are committed to them. And by having them not only in contract, but in the psyche, you've changed the entire conversation in New Orleans about expectations. Charters are significantly outperforming the traditional schools. And I believe it's because of a number of reasons. One, Bessie was very picky about who it chartered and relied upon NAXA to review the applicants. There is not a single charter school operating in New Orleans that NAXA did not look at its charter proposal. Number two is we set very clear performance expectations. At the time, I think Louisiana was one of very few states willing to explicitly put thresholds tied into our school accountability system that charter, applicant, that charter operators had to achieve in order to get their charter continued or renewed. We've worked in partnership with NAXA on this, and when Credo does its report to say that nationally the preponderance of charters are no better than public school than traditional public schools, I would challenge that it's because the authorizer hasn't been selective in who they're granting that charter to. Done right, charters are a powerful force for educational change because you can attract the entrepreneurial educational talent to run a charter school by giving them control over their time, people, and money and control over their destiny. There is an ownership to school quality that can happen in a way I don't see it happening in traditional schools.